So the reason we took RFID, which is a, a very technical, uh, sophisticated experience, and we translate to consumer is because everything our brand about is consumer. You know, we had seen plenty of use cases before with RFID being used for solely for inventory or for stock or for presence or for availability, but really there was this underlying capability, this underlying power of it where it could transform consumer experience. And I think we move, we're moving into a new era of retail where it's all about the consumer experience. It isn't just about how many goods do you have of what or where the location of the store is or do you just have the right garments. It's the whole consumer journey and the whole consumer experience. And so as we started studying RFID and seeing the power of it, we thought, oh my gosh, we could actually transform all these amazing e-commerce-like experiences into the store through the power of RFID. And so now the store literally comes to life. We're able to take this idea of, of Rebecca, the designer who's not there, and put her into every experience. We're able to arm the stylist and make them feel so much more powerful. We're able to give the consumer more confidence. We're able to keep her in the fitting room. Uh, she doesn't have to feel like she's marginalized in the store. She's now she's able to feel like she she's the queen of this fitting room, and, and, and she we're giving her fitting room and dressing room therapy. And really, the power was was just taking something and twisting it to allow magic to occur in the store. And, and the future of retail is magic. It's more theater. It's more experience. And really, we see RFID being the core component of that because that creates presence, it creates knowledge, and it creates awareness. And once you have those things, you can really give her a true, unique experience.